All right, greetings, 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 uh, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the world. This is Pastor Dow. I wanted to come on here for a second because I just got in today. Um, I received about, um, probably about six, 2011 American Civil Eagles. And one thing I noticed about this particular year's strike of the American Civil Eagle, I thought they had made a mistake at first and sent me some MS-70s. Um, but I tell you what, these coins are almost near perfect. I mean, they are amazing. Um, and of course, you know, I've got silver dating back all the way to 1986. And when I look at the 1986 coins, it has a little bit more shine to it. And, uh, and then I turn around and look at these 2011, there's some, a lot of similarities. But the, the 2010 coin, it looks like a piece of crap compared to this 2011. Now, even though that the silver context is still the same um, for both of them, uh, this 2011 strike is, is, is uh, I mean, th these things almost look like MS-70s. But anyway, hey, you keep buying. Keep buying your silver. You will not regret it. You'll be thanking me and all the people out there that you that has been instrumental in keeping us up on the news that is going on in this world when you have done a wonderful job paying attention and really listening and doing your own research and finding out that the voices you've been listening to all of us silver bugs out there that um, we have actually helped you preserve your purchasing power because it is going to be remarkable to know that one day that this one ounce of silver is going to equal $100. Now, you know what? It's really going to be extraordinary if it ever goes to $500 an ounce. And I tell you what, whoo -wee, what it will it be like if it goes to parity one-to-one -one with gold? This is going up every single day, or at least every month. It is. It's making gains. This trash right here it's going down in value. And that's exactly what this is. It's a bunch of trash. It's going down. Um, so I hope that you are paying attention uh, to my counsel by trying to at least get in an ounce of silver every couple of weeks. At least one ounce, you'll be better off than 99% of the Americans who are asleep. Also, remember I told you um, no more than a few weeks back that I felt like that silver was going to pull back? And it just didn't seem like it. You know, I said it was going to hit $30 an ounce before the end of the year. And two days before the end of the year, it did. And then I told you I feel like that, that it's going to be a pullback. And you know what? Um, it, it's been at a low of $28.34. I mean, it is pulled back from $31.64. So, um, you know, you buy on the lows, um, still buy on the highs, you know, just not as much. Buy on the dips. But, um, you know, I think I'm beginning to get the knack and the feel for this thing, even though we know that the markets are greatly manipulated by J.P. Morgan Chase, the CFTC, um, and, and all the rest of these um, wicked people up there. We know they manipulate, but I still think I'm kind of getting the feel of this thing. And it's taken me almost six, seven years just to even trying to get the knack for what's really, truly going on. So, continue to purchase your silver.